the next thing I'm going to look at here before we move on to anything else is if we remember that here it says yes we need a banner full width which we've done and it's got the logo and it's got a suitable image but it also says that the, the logo needs to be linked okay so we're going to throw in that link now now at the moment if I go back to Chrome just just to test it you'll see it looks nice but there's no link my mouse the cursor itself doesn't change to anything so for me to do that all I have to do is we're going to use something called a hotspot so we're going to go and click on the banner itself and down here at the bottom you'll see there's a black arrow which is what we're using right now and then there's a square there's a circle and there, there's a uh, pol polygon hotspot too now this is probably the best one to use if you want uh, you know top marks just because it says it wants it on the logo so you know if you can use this you show accuracy but you can just use a rectangle and just go over the actual logo itself yeah so if i show you the rectangle let's see how quickly how quickly you can do this so you can just drag it out and there it is and you press ok and then you put the link the website link there now the problem with this is obviously if you have this on the website the link uh, so the if you test it on Chrome, when your mouse goes over this area here, someone might argue that wait a minute, I'm not actually on top of the logo yet. The logo is starting here where that O is, or that I, or where that P is, or where that E is. So to undo this, I'm going to do Control and Z, which I've just done. I'm going to use this tool instead, and I'm going to basically connect the dots. So let me try that again. I'm going to go around. one little bit at a time just click 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 and basically go around and I'm gonna rush here but you will have more time to go over the logo now you're gonna go basically around the edges then go to this one here and perhaps go to the end of this P corner here, go down to the bottom of the P, then to the left hand side of the P, and then up here, then to that P. And just go around the letters best as you can. And then we'll have one there, have one here, have one there, and there. Now that yeah is a little bit more accurate so if i do that and then type in the website uh, that the web the examiner wants me to go uh, for it to to link to in here where it says link then that will create that link so let's try that out so i'm going to go over here over here i'm just going to copy it right uh, select it uh, control and c and control and v now if you don't have this then you're just going to type it in www.impromptu.co.uk so i'm just going to go back over here and just type it in okay now i'm going to test it so go here chrome yes i'm going to save it again and then when it opens up you'll notice that when my mouse goes over it changes to a hand implying that there is a link there now if i click it now in the exam you won't have internet access so that doesn't matter as long as the examiner can see that the mouse changes indicating that there's a link on top of this logo yeah and when you're on here, you can clearly see that there's a link there with the link actually shown here at the bottom. And that's how you link a logo.